everybody, welcome back to Homestead Heart. And today we are outside getting ready to do our garden tour. It's the end of the month and we know that we've been sharing some things with you in the garden, but we have not done a full garden tour. Yes, we got a lot to show. Um, I'm excited, so let's rock and roll. I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's do this. <laughs> Now, to be honest with you, we didn't do very much with our raised beds this year at all. Our primary focus was on the big garden areas because of the amount of food we wanted to produce. Our raised beds just would not accommodate what we wanted to do. Plus, it wasn't a good idea. Uh, it was a good idea to give our raised beds an opportunity to just kind of sit for a while. We kept adding wood chips to them and man they are looking really good so we're going to show you what we've done in some of our raised beds now in this one this raised bed is the raised bed that we planted our lettuce in last year do you see this lettuce right here now we planted these seeds we didn't know if this was going to work or not okay because it was getting so hot we were late planting the lettuce and as you can see some of it is up and some of it is not okay but it's looking good So, the lettuce that we planted, of course, was just a salad bowl mix. We planted some green oak leaf and some red oak leaf. And yes, it was too hot for that. But some of the red came up, some of the green came up. But all of this right here, man, it's hot, but it's doing okay. Okay? So, we're going to be harvesting. This is just that cut and come again type of lettuces that we have been uh, growing just to be able to have a nice salad on a daily basis. Now, what else we have in this bed? Let me show you. Do y'all remember these? These right here are our China rose radish. We planted the China rose radish not for the actual radish, but because we love the pods so much. These little bean pods right here, look at these. I'm telling you, we just come out here and we pick these babies clean off and just eat them. Jackson loves them too. <laughs> but he in the shade. Oh, here he come. He saw me chewing. Come on, bud. Here. I know him like them too. Yeah, like them too, bud. Okay, now get out my lettuce. Come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> and so we have more of the China Rose Radish here. And not to mention, you all, they have some of the most beautiful flowers. And these flowers attract so many pollinators. So when we sprinkle down the seed for the China Rose Radish, we have no intent of eating, no intention of eating the actual radish. We actually wait for it to get hot, for them to start flowering and going to seed, just so we can come out here and do what I just showed you that we do which is pull off the pods and enjoy them. Yeah, but you gotta be careful because sometimes they have little bugs on them. You don't wanna eat one of them. <laughs> now in the next bed, these are some of the beds that we came through and we just put more wood chips in these beds. And we are letting these wood chips break down again. So by the time next year rolls around, a lot of this will be broken down and it's going to be great to plant in these rose beds next year. So we did intentionally kind of uh, let them rest once we realized that, hey, it'll be good to just load them with wood chips and let them sit all spring, summer, fall, through the winter, and next spring they'll be ready. Now we did put some rosemary bushes in here. This is one rosemary bush um, that we put in here and we also have another one down here that we put in this bed. Now we know certain bugs don't like rosemary. So we thought, hey, let's put some rosemary in these beds right here. And maybe that will help to control the insect population throughout the spring and summer months. So that next year, maybe we won't have such a problem with pests in these two beds with the rosemary. Now if we go on down, y'all, you'll see, we haven't done anything with these beds. Okay? Yeah. If you're going down, we haven't done anything with these beds right here. They're just empty. But 
when we get down to this raised bed right here, y'all know we planted a ton of peppers. We planted over a hundred pepper plants, different varieties. Out of all those peppers we planted, I forgot to plant one of our favorites, banana peppers. So we actually had to go and purchase banana pepper plants to plant out. And that's what you see right here. We have two banana pepper plants right here. And we put them in late, so they're not doing very much right now because we put them in kind of late. And this one right here is called a lunchbox orange, and it's a snacking type of a pepper. So we put that one in kind of late too. So we'll be getting late, late harvest from that, probably not sometime until September. Now these plants right here, these are our spare plants. <laughs> we had so many pepper plants that we ran out of room in Big Mama's garden. So we decided to put what we had left over here in this garden and we have bell peppers over here. Some of them already have bell pepper on them. It's on them if you can see that. They have the peppers on them and others are just now getting ready to start putting on fruit. So yeah, that one has some peppers on it. Yeah, yeah. And this one is just a late bloomer. Now over here, let me step in my bed. Now right here we planted some onion, you all. We planted onion all down the edges of this. Our onions did not do good this year. And um, we planted several hundred onion seeds. And this is all we have right here. And it's a few behind us to Homestead Heart. But this is all we have right here. So we just put them in this bed along the sides. You know, of course, pests don't like onion either. So we just put them along the edges of this bed right here. We're gonna try again in the fall to grow onion, but we just decided to, hey. So now in this bed, there's nothing in this bed except for some zinnias I put right here at the end. And these babies are doing really, really good. I love zinnias. They make a beautiful flower. Oh, and they smell so good. I love them. This is a, a, a beautiful mix of zinnia. But Mr. H, if he comes close right here, I'm going to show you this China rose radish. Look at how big that radish is in there. I mean, they're just everywhere. Look at them. Look at how big they are. They're big. Now, you know, you don't want to eat them at that stage. Because <laughs> they will be awfully nasty. <laughs> but again, look at all of these pods. Something has been eaten into this one. But look at all of these pots with all of the beans on them, y'all. Just look. I'm going to tell y'all what I have in my mind when it comes to these radish pods. There's no way we're going to eat all of these pods in this season with salads. So I have decided, just like you can green beans, these are bean pods, seed pods, I'm sorry. These are seed pods. But I am going to attempt to can these like I would can green beans. And just see what happens. <laughs> All right, let's move on. <laughs> we are back in the watermelon patch. <laughs> now you remember in our watermelon patch, the three rows on the end were cantaloupe and honeydew melon. So you all, I don't see one single sign of a melon from these three as of yet, but they are growing very well. So I'm just excited. You know, if you, so now if you look down here, you can see how well the vines are, are running along. I mean, the vines are doing good. Just no sign of fruit yet, you all, no sign of fruit yet. And they may be coming like real soon. We'll just have to wait and see. But there's just no sign of fruit. This is the honeydew melon roll right here. But I got a feeling that once the melon starts coming, they're gonna be all over the place. So I'm really excited. I can't wait to start seeing the first fruits. I remember last season, they were last to put on fruits even after the melon had started putting on fruit. The cantaloupe and the honeydew was just last. So. We'll see what happens, y'all. We'll see. 
Now behind me, oh, this is more cantaloupe right here. So I'm gonna come on out of here. I mean, nope, I don't see one cantaloupe. However, <laughs> once we get to the watermelon, that's a different story. Now, you remember you all, but in this one plant area right here, this was where we had another cantaloupe and a rabbit came along and took out the whole thing. And I put in a few seeds for the Yamada cream and they are beginning to grow. So I'm excited to see how those do. Now, in this area right here is some of the larger watermelon right here. I know we planted Congo, Sugar Baby, Yamada cream, um, we got seeds from a farm in South Georgia. So we have four varieties of watermelon out here. And if I'm not mistaken, I think these are the seeds from the farm down south. And we're already getting, look at here. You see that? Oh, and we also planted a Charleston Gray, which is what I believe this one plant is. I think this one plant right here is the Charleston Gray because not all of the seeds made it. So this, I believe, is the Charleston Gray. It looks like it early on. So that might be what that is. And I believe these others are from the farm down in South Georgia. So Mr. H, if he comes down the road, you'll be able to see all of these watermelon right here that we have. We have, these are our sugar baby watermelons. Look at this. They're everywhere. See them down there? We got little ones coming. We got a few right here, some here, some here. Those sugar babies are fast producers, plus they taste really good. Look right here. Look right here. We got more sugar babies. Look at there, y'all. Don't they just look so good? More of those sugar babies. They everywhere down here. Come down here and look. Just look at these. Sugar babies. Over here. Sugar babies. <laughs> They everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, we're excited about our sugar baby watermelons. Now, over here. Oh wait, here's another one. Let me help you out, cause you're doing the most. There we go, baby. Let's put you right here, Mr. Sugar. <laughs> go put sugar right there. Okay, so now, these right here, now, I may have to go back to verify these. But if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the row with our Congo melons. If I'm not mistaken, I think these are Congo, but they have not started putting on melon yet. So it may very well be a Congo watermelon because they do take a little while. But over here is where I'm growing my personal favorite the Yamada cream and we do have some already coming on the vines you all look at there that's my baby my baby now down here look more look just mow them up in there more melons more melons more melons more melons more melons more you see it all right so now we're going to step back because I'm going to tell y'all something. We had to do this tour to show y'all this early because it may be to a point real soon where we're not going to be able to walk in here. So we absolutely had to get this garden tour, done, garden tour done. But now we're going to show you our pumpkin plants. And boy are our pumpkin plants doing really, really good. Now we have pumpkins in here. But not all of them are doing so good. This one right here actually just needs to come off the vine. It's all, whew, and I don't have my uh, pruners in my back pocket like I normally do. But that one is just no good. Y'all see that? It's just rotten. Right in here, there's another. And this is our sugar pie pumpkins right here, you all. We have... A lot of sugar pie pumpkins out here. We have some Big Macs and we have um, some Connecticut field pumpkins. So now I'm going to show you these other pumpkins. They get really, really big. Okay, so 
we have really been battling dealing with squash bugs. You all know that already. And so they have literally been going after our plants and we have been fighting trying to save our plants. And now, although all of our plants have some pumpkins on them, look over here. See here? There's more pumpkin in there. Look at there. But look right here on this leaf. You see the squash bug eggs right there? Look at there. So we got to come back through here and get them out of here. We got to come back and get them out. But the pumpkins themselves, they're fighting you all. I mean, literally, we had to come into these plants. I'm going to show you right here. We had to come into these plants and we literally had to cut into the plant. I think I cut about a four inch slit into that plant to get in there and take out the two, two bugs, the two larvae that were just boring their way through this plant, killing it. So we packed it, we ended up packing it with soil to protect it. I mean, we literally had to pack the inside where we cut at with the soil and then cover it with soil, added some fertilizer and watered it in. And so far, it seems to be helping because I'm gonna show you, look at this. Come over here. You see the pumpkins here? Look at there. They still growing. They still doing real good, right? But wait a minute, let me show y'all something else. Let me show y'all something else. Watch this. Mr. H, come on in here. He gonna show y'all this. Look at that. Look at this. Is that a pumpkin or is that a pumpkin? Isn't that a big, beautiful pumpkin? But look right here, you all. Something is already boring its way into this vine right here. I'm going to have to go in there and get him out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. And we have a few more pumpkins in here. And they are doing good so far. All right, do y'all see that pumpkin? We have another one in there, right there. And we have those all throughout here. Yeah. So that's it for the watermelon and the pumpkin patch. We're gonna move on to our backup garden. We have another pumpkin plant that we planted over here because we ran out of room. Let's show you this pumpkin plant. Now we are over here in our backup garden. We have one more pumpkin, pumpkin uh, plant right here. And zoom in to this pumpkin right here. Okay. We have one right here. Ooh. Life size pumpkin. Look at this pumpkin. That's a pretty big pumpkin right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's a smaller one right here. Got another one. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Pumpkin is looking pretty good. Yes, it is. Okay. Now we have over here butternut squash. Did you follow me down here? Okay. Got to step over these vines. Oh, look. Here's one. Here's one right here. Okay. There we go. Step on the back. Look at that. Mm. Nice. Here's another one. Nice. That's a little small one right there. Mm. And all over oh there. Oh my, they're all over there. You see it? Let's see if I can see it. Yep, there they are. Yeah, they're all oh, through there. Oh, down in there. Oh, oh a lot man, of all back up in there. Y'all can't see them, but let me see. I'm going to try to squeeze over in here. Get me up. Okay. Okay. Ugh. There's one. There's one. Yeah. Oh, wait. You got me? Yeah, I got you. <laughs> There's two. All right. Man, and they all up and down here, y'all. Okay. They all up and down here. We're going to continue to work this row. Okay. I'm going to back up. Okay. And I'm going to back up too. Okay. All right, Mr. H. Where are you taking us now? Taking you over here. Look what I have here. Oh, ginger snaps. Look at that. Oh, ginger snaps. <laughs> oh, man. That, that's beautiful. 
Oh, shooka suki. Look at this right here. Mm. Look at that. You got another one? Oh, he deformed, ain't he? He just a little on the deformed side, but he'll yeah. be okay. Yeah, you got one right there. It's another one. Y'all know what that is? Tell them what it is, baby. This is uh, Kushaw. That's Kushaw. Ah! <laughs> I have a granddaddy Kushaw right here. A granddaddy? Look at him. Ooh, look at Big Pop. Oh, man, he's big, huh? All right, man. <laughs> All right. Here's another Boy, one. Boy, look at that. Look yeah, at look at Mr. Bigger. H, y'all. He like he he knee deep in, in vines. Look at yeah, him. Yeah, I'm, I'm knee deep in vines. And Ooh, here go, here. Here. Oh, here go a little baby right here. Oh. There go a little baby. Oh, that one didn't make it, but that's okay. But look at his daddy. Where? Right there. Oh, Ginger. Snap! <laughs> Come y'all, look at this. Oh, sucky, sucky now. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that's a nice one, ain't it? It is. Ooh, 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 ooh. What do you see? What do you Look see? Look up there. Oh. Look up there. More. Move that leaf right there. Oh, there it is. Look at that. They More all of them down all down. back up in there. They all back up in there. Even over there. Even the, oh, wait a minute. Boy, y'all be sneaking up on us. Look at that, y'all. All right now. <laughs> That nice one that I harvested last season that we had. Y'all, that don't even compare. Uh-oh, the sun in y'all eyes, sorry. That don't even compare to what y'all just saw, dude. <laughs> nope. Man. Let's keep going. Let's keep on going, y'all. <laughs> running through this row as well. Yep. I mean, they running. Boy, they everywhere. There's they, it's several of them down there by Mr. H's foot. Man. Look, back up in here too, baby. I see. And right here, moving all over into the corn. Oh man. Wow. Look at that. They are everywhere. Okay, now if I can make my way down. Uh huh. I'm gonna follow you this way. Okay. Here I come. Here I come. See what I Don't got start here? without me. Don't start without me. Spaghetti squash. Boom. Oh. <laughs> yeah. they running everywhere. Wow. All over here, see? You see some more? Oh, yep, there goes some more right there. Oh, look, look, look. Here's one over here. You got one over there? I got one right here. More spaghetti squash, y'all. Oh, man. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see if I can get under there. More spaghetti squash coming. Over there, too. Over there. Look at there. Let's see if I can get it. There it go. Yeah. Wow. Let me back up out of here. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Babe, I think we we missed one. Miss Actually, one? we missed two of them, babe. Okay. Look, here's one right here. Yeah, we got two of them over there. Oh, my. There's one right there. There's another <coughs> one right there. Oh, my. There's one right there. Oh, my. There's another one right there. There's one down there. Oh, there's two down there. Oh, man. Wow. I'm in love. <laughs> wow. Wow, that is so awesome. Okay. That is all of our vining squash rows right there. Y'all, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That is nice. That is nice. <laughs> Gentlemen, these are two rows of corn. Bodacious mm -hmm. sweet on this row. Yeah. Looking nice. Knee high. About a fourth of July. <laughs> <laughs> you got to help me with this. This is that early sun glow variety. Yes. And this is what we started from those little seeds just a few weeks ago. It hasn't yeah. even been that long since we started them, right, babe? Hasn't been that long. Look at them, <coughs> look at them now. They looking nice. That's right. That's right. All looking right. Nice. Look at that corn. Knee corn high. Very nice. About a fourth of July. Yeah. It ain't even a fool. It ain't even a fool. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We have a row of beans. Beans. They looking good. We yeah. Started these off late. We did start them off late. Now this this down here ain't doing so good. These were the Kalima beans that we planted. And only one, two, three came up. These other things are just weeds. I'm gonna just pull them right on up out of here. They just weeds. But these are Kalimas. Now, this is our second year planting Kalima beans. Yeah. And as you can see, 
this year we still having the same result as we did last year probably won't ever grow those again now it could be that they do better when it's cold but i don't know we've just not had any luck with those yeah and on this row right here babe i think these are the um we have some jade on one side and we have some um blue lake bush yeah. on the other okay. so that's what these are two different varieties right here they looking pretty good they looking good yeah some eating them though yeah see here some see. eating them man it's organic gardening stuff y'all i'm telling you something here's a spider right here good we need more of them right there <coughs> maybe he'll come in and eat what's up in here all right mr spider we moving on Okay. Oh yeah, those are more beans. Here's another row of beans. These are strikes. You see the flowering mm -hmm. going on? Yep. More beans. We're gonna get some flowers. beans coming. We're gonna get some beans. Yeah. We Look got at a, We have a lot of beans that we need to harvest. We do from the other garden, but we'll get to that. Yeah. Wow, these are strike beans right here. Yeah. We Look love our beans. green beans. Yeah. Look at these nice leaves. Mm-hmm. Man, they're looking so nice. healthy. Yeah, even though insects are trying to bite at them but they still go yeah on. like this right here baby look look at there you're talking about taking a bite out of something you just you oh, just man. ate the leaf man we're gonna find you you just wait but yeah that's organic gardening for you y'all because this is all organic we're not putting any harmful chemicals on this now some ants then got a hold to something up here look at there they're yeah. all over whatever it is where yeah. is it at yeah, Whatever it is, they're all over it. Yeah. Take them down. Do your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, y'all. So that's it. That's, that's it. the beans right there. Those two rows of beans and those two rows of corn. Over here, our tomato row. Tomato. Peach is now so we have proper. Like five different rows of tomatoes. Varieties. Yeah. Varieties. Mm hmm. So. Come along and check our tomatoes out. Eee. Look at these. One didn't make it right here. He just ain't doing good down there. He'll he be all right. Too good. Mm -mm. See, he just got lost in the shuffle. Yeah. He ain't doing too good. But the rest of them. Yeah. And they young tomatoes, so, you know. They look good, though. Yeah. Yeah. They just getting started. Mm-hmm. Well, we got some tomatoes that's coming on this plant right here but some is eating it up right there you see that oh i see i see it's got a hole got holes in it yeah but these look better though they do now we're gonna have to cut that off because this this plant here looks like it's getting blight and it could because that leaf is too close to the ground and i think i have damn <laughs> you always we're gonna cut that leaf right on over there sure is and we're gonna take it on up out this garden cut that up the bottom one too babe yeah, we have to get rid of these. When you see blight coming on your tomato plants, y'all go ahead and get them leaves off of there. What about this one? Yep, that one too. Take them off and uh, get them out of the garden because, you know, you don't want to run run the risk of losing your entire plant. One more. That one. You don't want to run the risk of losing your entire plant, so go ahead and get rid of them. We're going to have to come back and prune all of these, as you can see, because... We got a lot of them on the ground. Like he said, these were young tomatoes. And when the rain came, man, they just exploded. Y'all know we've had rain for several days. Now these, so, these are pretty good. Oh, look, look at that. I think nice. these are our purple Russian. Yeah, I think these are either the purple Russian or the black Berniciage or Bernard something or rudder. <laughs> and we have more yeah. right here. Yes, those mm -hmm. are beautiful. Okay, we'll we come on around. Come on around. I think it. these are more orange icicles right here. No, they're not. What are they? I don't know. I don't know. We all gonna be surprised together. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta trellis this up right We here. sure do. Okay. All right, look at all of these matas. Oh man, we got, we got matas everywhere, y'all. Just everywhere. Look all down there. Just tomatoes everywhere. Oops. Yeah, look, look at, at there. Stuff. That's a nice looking cluster. Oh my goodness, that is a beautiful cluster. Look at these right here. Mm -hmm. Wow, y'all. Look here. We do have tomatoes, just like a lot of them. Right there. 
Awesome sauce. All the way down here. They looking very nice. Mm -hmm. Look at they that. They are. Y'all, these tomatoes, I'm going to be a canning sister. Do y'all understand what I'm trying to tell you? Wow. I'm going to be I'm gonna be like literally like, I'm going to have tomatoes all in my eyes and my ears and stuff. Mr. Age going to be like, why your skin so red? Look at this right here. <laughs> we, we got them all coming from the back right here. Whoa. Bam. Mm. And yeah. our last row of tomatoes. And this Richie. right here, plant's looking pretty good, but it's mm -hmm. not producing on that one, but this one is. Yeah. Let's see. Well, they're looking pretty good. Yeah, right here. Wow, three rows. And these rows yeah. are 25 feet long, y'all. So we have three rows over here, 25 feet long of tomatoes. And I think it's about how many plants, babe? About 30 plants? About 30 over here, yes. And these are different varieties. That's aroma. That's that aroma. is our aroma tomato right there. That's one from 2000. Nine, if I don't believe, I mean 16 or 15. Yeah. 15, 16 is how old that seed is. Yeah, look at this right here. Nice. That's I don't know nice. what kind they are, but they look nice. Yeah, this is beautiful. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. That's it. Okay, we got a couple of them down here. We do? Oh. Yeah. See, something's getting, something got to that one too. Yeah. So I'm going to bag out of here because... Wow, y'all. These are our three rows of tomatoes. of tomatoes, Mr. H. Yes, they looking pretty good. Looking good. Are you going to help me peel potato tomatoes? Of course I am. <laughs> you know I'm going to help you peel them. <laughs> three rows, y'all. Yes. It's a lot of tomato plants right up in here. Yeah. Peel sweet corn from Baker Creek. Baker Creek. So yeah. they're young. They popping up. Yeah, they they don't they're not doing as good as the other ones. Some of the seeds didn't come up as y'all could plainly see. Yeah. But most of them did though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These yeah. are some more that's knee high by the folk, but you lie. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we put some five eleven on it. Hit, hit them with that five eleven? Hit them with that five eleven. All right. Then. You ain't saying nothing but a word, Captain. Okay. All right, y'all, so now we are fast approaching our squash. Y'all remember this squash? We just had a conversation about this squash. Patty pans, right? We left them on the vine, show did. Look at them. Still down there, just as green as they want to be. Just as green as they want to be. And it's a lot of them up in there, too. And I'm going to head down there. There's some wasps down there on our uh, okra plants, but y'all see how tall these okra plants are? These okra plants are really, I mean, really, really tall. Oh, man. And we didn't let it get away from us, y'all, because of the rain. I'm going to show you something. This is Clemson spineless. Look at that. You know that's too big. We can't eat that. So, but anyway, got a lot of harvesting to do. And look at the stalks on these plants. Look down there. Y'all see the size of that? These finna be some trees, for real, for real. For real, for real. But the Clemson spineless is really doing good. And yes, it has okra everywhere on all of them. See? I told y'all they was about to explode with okra. Look at there. They all up in here. Yeah. They everywhere. Look at yeah. that up in there. Man. So yeah, we got to get out here and get to work on these now that the rain has stopped. But this is the other side of this squash right here. And look right here. Look at how big this squash thing got. Show them, Mr. H. Do y'all see the size of this? That Congo squash? <laughs> Man. <laughs> that Congo squash. Look at this beautiful baby right here. All right, now. Coming see, we're going to get the seeds from this because this is not going to produce any more squash, all because of the squash bugs. Look at this one. Right along with this one. Look at there. Any plant still seems to be hanging on by a thread. In, in fact, we got a few little zucchini on there. Y'all see them? But it's barely hanging on. Let me show you why. Look at there. Squash bugs. Tan it up. Yep. Squash bugs tan it up, but... Yeah, this one too. But look, we got a zucchini down there. We're yep. going to harvest that and take that in the hands. Yep. And look right here. Man, just, just rip Patty this pan, in. But you know them bugs got to it. Them squash bugs done got to it, y'all. 
Show sure hell. Now zoom in over here. Let's see. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it, baby. There you go. See those right there? Yeah, I think we're down there. Yeah. Loaded with patty pans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we gotta work our way back out of this jungle. Yeah. But y'all see what the squash bugs did. And that is the reason why we are planting more squash plants. Because they have really taken out a lot of our squash plants. But if you think this damage is something, y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Over here in our little corn patch. And we planted three different varieties of corn. We planted that early sun glow, basically what we just showed you over there, our little smaller corn. But this is the corn that we planted out first. And y'all, this corn is ready to be harvested. Let me show y'all something. Look at this right here. I'm gonna come this way. We're gonna come all the way down because I want Mr. H to show y'all this corn. See this? Look at there. And we gotta go ahead and harvest it before the insects get to it. We just didn't want to harvest it before we had an opportunity to show you all the corn. So we're gonna come on down because I want y'all to see. Let me out, bud, let me out. This corn is beyond ready to be harvested, y'all. I'm gonna start peeling this back just a little bit. Look at that, look at that corn. That's nice. Isn't that beautiful? That is just nice. Just look at that beautiful corn. Hmm. That corn is ready to come off of there. Yeah, that's it's got it. ants. This corn is ready to come off, and I'm gonna have to come out and get this corn off of here, preferably early in the morning, and that's gonna be more things I have to can. Y'all don't understand, right now, y'all don't know what my kitchen looks like. I got stuff everywhere that needs to be canned, don't I, babe? Yes, you do. You need, you need some help, I'm gonna help you. You gonna help? I'm gonna Thank help you. Thank you so much. Yeah. But look, y'all, all of this corn, that's the early variety. This is the Buell Sweet right here. And this corn is huge, but look down here. All of it is ready to be harvested. Do y'all see these tassels, how dried up they are? Every last one of them just bone dry. We can go ahead and pull this off, and I can feel the corn in here. It's just ready. Still got the milk in there? It's still got that milk in there. It's still in that milk state, which mm. is the healthiest time to eat some corn is when it still has that delicious sweet milk, I call it, coming out of the corn. So that is a great time to eat your corn. And this over here as well. This is all ready to be harvested, you all. Look at this corn. Just look at there. We have corn everywhere. It's about two stalks. Uh, it's about two ears of corn per stalk. And the majority of them, 95% of our corn looks fantastic. With the exception of, we got one that don't look so good. I'll show you. Come over here. Let me show you this one right here. <laughs> y'all see this right here? This poor thing, it tried. It just he tried, didn't it? He just didn't make it. it but he tried. It. He was fighting. Look at that. He even popped out a few ears of corn. I see. He even popped out a few kernels. <laughs> and we got some that some pests have gotten to. I think it's back up this way, Mr. H. I don't see. I think we got one that some pest has gotten to. Because it don't look so good. Can y'all see me up in these bushes? Can y'all see me up in here? As I fight my way through. <laughs> well, I don't see it. Woo! But I got ants all over me, though. Let me out! Let me out! <laughs> okay, come on, huh? Okay. <laughs> no sweat. That's our corn. Let's move along, shall we? All right, now we're over here in Lupa Lane. What? So now, over here in Lupa Lane, you all know we planted Lupa, but we also planted sunflowers. Do you all remember these itty bitty sunflowers that Mr. H planted just a few weeks ago? And look at these sunflowers. Y'all, I'm telling you, they are just exploding with growth down here by my foot right here and actually these right here we started from seed but as you can see they are growing so well now over here we planted a gray zucchini right here on the edge 
right down here. We planted that. We started it from seed. It's coming up. Right here in the midst of our sunflowers, we planted more patty pan squash, I believe this is. It's either patty pan or zucchini, one or the other. But we planted more squash plants right here. And this is going to be so beautiful to watch our sunflowers grow up through this and all through the garden, actually. This is a sunflower right here by my shoe. Now look at this. Do you see our loofahs? These are the Thai loofahs right here, you all. And I'm going to have to train these to go up this trellis right here. Okay. And bring you back around town. Put you right on back through here. There we go. Oh, you're not cooperating. And it's already got ants all over it, y'all. Like real deal. Already. Put you under there. Okay. So now that's going to help to train these up because they are already vining. So these are our Thai loofahs. And remember the Thai loofahs are good for bathing. They're supposed to be a lot better for bathing than the regular loofah gourd. Now some of you have asked, where did we get the loofah, loofah, the loofah seeds from? Our Thai loofahs we got from Baker Creek. Our regular loofah we harvested those seeds from the lupa gourds that we planted last year. And those seeds that we purchased last year, we got from M.I. Gardener, okay? So, as you can see, we got sunflowers growing everywhere. Now, y'all remember all that burning we did? We look at all this grass and how it then came back. It has come back with a force. But all through here, just look down the row, baby. Just look down the row. Y'all see all these plants? Just look. Do y'all see me? I'm literally standing in the midst of nothing but this sunflowers all the way down here. But our loofahs are vining. And so, yeah, we have to come out and we have to train them to go up the trellis. So that's what we want. We want them to go up the trellis. And when you're training them, you want to be very careful because you don't want to break the tips of these loofah off okay and you can do so much with loofah you can make uh loofah soap not soap but loofah bathing sponges with different scents like lavender it's so much you can do with loofah yeah so much now all the way down here in loofah lane here We planted more squash on the end here. So I have three squash plants right here on the end in Lufa Lane. Okay? We felt as though Lufa Lane, watch yourself. You all right? We felt as though Lufa Lane could use the help. And these are our more sunflowers that Mr. H transplanted for us. We're growing two varieties of sunflowers. The ones you saw on the end were the Mongolian Giants. We got those from Baker Creek, and these are the Mammoth. And we got some of these last year from M.I. Gardener, and this year we got some from Little Shop of Seeds. So yeah, that's it, y'all. That's Little Filet. Over in Big Mama's Garden, right on the other side of Lufa Lane. And you all, what we have going on over here, we planted more corn. Now this corn is older than the younger corn that you saw over there, but this corn isn't nearly as healthy. And I know why, I know why. We don't have as much compost over here uh, on this bed, and we did not put as much nitrogen down um, on this corn as well. So we do need to come back with that 511, that fishy motion, and we need to continue to water this. Now look, before it actually starts to produce corn, you still wanna give it a nice healthy dose of nitrogen, okay? But, like I said, you can look at the bottom of the leaves and tell it's nowhere near as healthy as the other corn. So what we did over there, we know for sure worked. And, but we also planted beans in the midst of this. But you remember all of the little cold snaps that we had. 
man it damaged our beans but these are producing some beans they got ants all over them but these are producing some beans and that's another thing ants in this bed is horrible but we do have more beans down here and these are the jade varieties of beans do you see down in there just more beans yeah more beans so all the way down you all we have more corn now this one has already started to get the little tassels on them so yeah here's one right here oh wow there's more right here and just beginning to tassel and really you shouldn't put nitrogen on them once they start to tassel just not really a good idea but anyway you all that's what this row is all about. This is just corn and it's just not looking as healthy as we would like, but we're still hoping to get a nice little harvest from this corn. And of course we're harvesting the green beans, but the corn, I'm hoping that we can recover something from it, even though it's not as healthy as our other stalks. Remember, 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 we told you we show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. This is going to be ugly, okay? It's ugly, all right? I'm just telling you. So look, come on down. Let me show you. This bed right here, this entire bed was planted out with Brussels sprouts, okay? And as you can see, the majority of them died. Grass is everywhere. And these just ain't going to do nothing. The cabbage bugs are taking them out one by one. Look at that. You seen the moth right there? Her chilling. Just taking them out one by one, right? And then, plus, it's hot. We already know this is not going to produce anything. We already know nothing is going to come from this. So, we're going to go ahead and start ripping this out, okay? All the way down, just taking it out because nothing's going to come from it. Over here, nothing. Just grass. Look at that. So remember, we talked about the ground cover, the importance of the ground cover, or if you're gonna wood chip your garden, wood chips, a nice heavy layer of wood chips. But we decided not to wood chip this area for, because this was originally gonna be a market garden. And so we decided not to wood chip the area and we were just gonna use ground cover. And because we didn't get the ground cover in time, this is the result, grass everywhere. Now, we had some gold potatoes that my daughter uh, uh, brought to me, and we planted those down. And in spite of all the grass, you can see it is, some of them have just started to die back already. And they have died back down there, but they started to die back. And so we're hoping maybe, I don't know, we'll be happy if we got two potatoes <laughs> from each hole. That would be perfectly fine, you know because we weren't expecting to get anything. Like for example, down here, let me show you this. I don't know if y'all can see this am amongst all the grass, but look, see how it's starting to die back? Yeah, it's starting to die back. So we're gonna start digging this up to try to get the potatoes out. Now, y'all, let's come on across to this other ugly side. You see what happened to this squash? Look all the way down here. Squash bugs. They took us out. Look at this. I still got some squash on here. I could harvest this off. I could take this one. This one looks pretty good. It's not hard. This one looks pretty good. But they're squash bugs. They just took them out. And this right here... Now, remember, we had all of our vining crops over there, and we planted crookneck right here. And we thought this was a crookneck squash, but it's not. This is a pumpkin, and there is a little pumpkin right here that's struggling to make it because you can see the rest of the plant is not in the best health. So look, look down here. Come on down, let me show you. Look right here. Just look at this. Squash bugs. Come on down, look at here. Squash bugs. All the way down. All the way down. All of my beautiful squash plants and zucchini plants. Just look. Just look at this. 
it just destroyed it, y'all. Look at this. Yeah. Now, again, what we've decided to do, we're going to rip all of this out. We've started about 18 more plants. We're going to rip all of this out. We're going to cover this with the ground cover and we're going to replant our squash. Not in this row. Not in this row. Actually, what I might do is go down this row and just, I don't know, flame weed it. I don't know really because there are a lot of squash bugs. So we're not going to plant it here. We may put it in one of the other rows, maybe two rows over. But we are going to replant squash out here. But y'all, this is some ugly stuff. I know. Now, let's talk about what is not so ugly. <laughs> let's talk about our beautiful eggplant. We have eggplant on our right. And we have green beans on our left. But we're going to get to that, to this beautiful row of green beans here in just a moment. Now, on the eggplant row, y'all look at this. We have beautiful little eggplant growing everywhere. Everywhere, just beautiful. Mm -hmm. good. Beautiful. Eggplant growing everywhere. Now, look down there. I'm probably going to come back and harvest that one. Now, what I will say, you all, about the eggplant, look in here. Got three of them right there. But look, listen, let me show you all something. Look, if you're growing eggplant, keep an eye on your plant, okay? Because believe it or not, tomato hornworms don't just love tomatoes. They love, they love eggplant. Look at our leaves right here. You see this? Look at this damage. Look at that. Look at this. You just caught it early. We caught them early. We caught them early. If you all look at your eggplant and you come out and you start seeing damage like this where your leaves are being eaten up like this, you need to start looking for squash bug. I mean for hornworms. Okay, you need to start looking for them because they are there. Trust and believe me. All of our eggplant, you all, is supposed to be black beauty. But it's not. <laughs> now, I showed you a nice long variety down there, but look at this down here. Well, first of all, look at these beautiful eggplant under here. Just look at those. Aren't they beautiful? They are just absolutely gorgeous, right? Now, let me show y'all something here. You see these beautiful little flowers right here? Those little nice light looking lavender flowers right there. Aren't they beautiful? These are black beauty. But this seed right here, this came out of our tomato plant. This was not a tomato when we were growing it, and we knew it <laughs> because I said the leaves and the stems are too dark to be a tomato. The leaves don't even look like tomato leaves. But look right here. Mr. H will come around. He'll show you. I'm going to step on this side so he can come all the way around. Look at this. Let me move this grass out the way. But I do believe that this is some type of a Japanese variety of eggplant right here. Look at this, real slender. Look at there. And the leaves are much darker and the ribbing on them are a deep, beautiful purple as well. So yeah, I don't know what variety it is, but I do know we're gonna enjoy it. And so this is the rest of our little eggplant right here, you all. This one is looking so gorgeous. Just so gorgeous. Eggplant all the way down. Look at there. Just all the way down. Just everywhere. And we did have eggplant 
all the way down on this row. These are 50 foot rows. We had eggplant all the way down and something just, just took them all out. But these right here survived. So, Jax, leave the eggplant alone. Do not pick the eggplant. So this is the eggplant is looking good. Now these are our green beans. I'm so excited. These are our Blue Lake pole beans. And y'all, they are all over this trellis. In fact, they are all out here. We need to get them back up on the trellis because they are coming all, they are all out here. But they look so good and healthy, these plants, in spite of the grass. Woo! You're talking about some lessons learned. So, yeah. See how this is all out right here? Got to train these babies to get back through there and do what they got to do. And they just finding each other. And I just have to take them and un unravel them and let them go their own way. <laughs> and get them through the trellis. Now, I kid you not. Whoops. After a nice, I'm not cooperating. After a nice long rain, like what we've had, I'm not surprised at this at all. I'm going to have to come back through here because I have vines going everywhere. So I'm going to have to come back through here at some point and get all of these vines put through the trellis like they need to be so that we can get um, a nice harvest. So it'll be so easy for us to harvest our green beans. Yeah. So the green beans are looking really nice, y'all. The eggplant is gorgeous. We're going to go ahead and move on. I know y'all know what this is. These are our cucumbers. <laughs> and they are too. Vining all out everywhere. Everywhere. In fact, we got cucumbers that need to be harvested. Like this one. Oh man, we need to get him out of there. He is absolutely huge. We need to get him out. And, uh, oh my, I'm going to have a busy, busy morning of harvesting. Oh my goodness. We have cucumbers coming everywhere, you all. Look at this little bitty one right here. Look at there. Just, just beautiful. So I know it's a lot of large cucumbers in here. As I try to, and be careful where you step, bud. We got cucumber vines coming everywhere. Be careful. So, oh man. We've missed these. These have turned yellow. Oh no! We've missed about three cucumbers. They're yellow. Gotta come and get them. There's more down here. Look, babe. Look at all of these under here. Look at all of them down there. See them? Mm. Wow, we missed a lot. But we got more on the ground down here that are green. Look. Look down there. You see it? Yeah. Right here? Can y'all see that? Wait a second. Uh oh. Yeah. I dropped my squash. Mm -hmm. They're everywhere. Just look at that. They're all over there on the other side. Oh, right here. Yeah, we missed those yellow ones. We still can get them, can you? Mm hmm. Okay. All right, y'all. So. So, we have several cucumber varieties out here. We have Market Moore 76. We have the Armenian cucumber. We have the Boston pickling cucumber. And the cucumber that I'm most excited about this year is that lemon cucumber. I cannot wait to taste it. And we have them growing. Let me see if I could find some. Oh, here they are. Here they are. There go a little one right down in there. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, yeah. there's a little one right there. Mm -hmm. Here's a little one right here. You see here. another one? Oh, there's more. Here's another one right there, baby. Oh, they're up in here. They are. Then I can't wait to try them. <laughs> All 
I'm excited about those. And so we have more cucumbers on the end here. I don't know. Wow. They just got to be know, harvest. Y they just all up in here. This cucumber lane is like. Yeah. And the flowers still coming. They still coming. They just, they, y'all, we excited about the cucumber. Now, down here is just some extra Clemson spineless okra that we had. And we just went ahead and got that in the ground. And it's growing. And we planted these late, but it's growing. And it's doing really, really good. Not yet producing okra, but it's starting to. It's starting to. So, yeah, everything is looking good right here. Just so much grass. But we're going to move over to peppers. <laughs> we are now going to talk bell peppers. I got some Ozark Giants out here. And then I have one called Quadrato something or other, right? And it's a pepper that I was excited to grow just simply because it's cucumbers all over here. But just simply because I had never tried it, never heard of it, but it looks so good. So I couldn't resist it. But first, we're going to talk about these bells. Y'all look in here. Y'all see all them bell peppers in there? We got a couple, we got a big one down here, but we got a whole lot of them right up in there, right? Can you grow too many bell peppers? I don't think so. I don't see very many up in there, but if Mr. H would follow me down here, y'all, I'm gonna show y'all some more bell peppers. Now this right here, this ain't no bell pepper plant. I don't know how this got up in here like it did. But this ain't a bell pepper plant. If I'm not mistaken, this plant looks more like one of those Thai chilies that my baby absolutely loves. Now, I thought it was a bell, but this is looking more and more like those Thai chili peppers. Mm -hmm. And this one, I know it's a jalapeno pepper because remember we bought banana peppers and one of them was not a banana pepper. It was a jalapeno. <laughs> That's a pretty big jala, jalapeno. I think I need to take that one. Jalapeno pepper. All right, so now the bell pepper. Look! Y'all, we got to harvest this thing. Look at that. Do y'all see my hand on this pepper? Do y'all see my hand on this pepper? This is a pretty big pepper right here, y'all. So I know I'm going to have to come in here and harvest that pepper. Okay, so now these are all of our bell pepper plants. All of our bell pepper plants. Hate them things. Look up in here. I forgot what variety this pepper is. Oh, something has been eaten out of this one. I'm going to take that off. And get this to the chickens. Now, all down here, more peppers. But, once we get down here, these, wow, those are nice peppers, nice peppers. These are our quadrato peppers, but they have not yet. Oh, yes, they have. Look at it. Look at itty bitty. Now, they don't get too big, I don't believe. And there's not a lot of them that's on the plants right now, but they are coming on. They are making their appearance. They're so little. So I'm so excited to try these peppers and see what they taste like, you all. I got a whole nother row all the way down here. All of these are that variety that I was excited to try. So now, on the end down here, on this side of the peppers, come here, let me show y'all this. As we start right here, look at this. We got more bell peppers all the way there. I had a lot of bell pepper plants. Just more bell pepper. Look at this. Look right up in here. Do y'all see these bell peppers right here? Look up in there. I got bell peppers everywhere. I ain't shame. <laughs> look over here. Just wow. Just look. Go slow, babe, so you don't make people dizzy. Look right up in there. Look at all those bell peppers. And these are more peppers as well. So y'all... I got a lot of bell peppers. I do a lot of canning. I do a lot of cooking. I make a lot of different types of meals with bell pepper. You gotta have bell pepper. It just makes food taste so good. So 
That's the bell pepper. We gonna move along to Mr. Homestead Hearts. Favorite, favorite pepper. Well, we have a row of peppers. Mm -hmm. They're looking very good, very healthy, nice and green. These are cayenne peppers right here. They're looking very nice, very nice. Look at that. They're looking good, looking very good. Here's another pepper plant. Oh man, they looking pretty good. They got a ways to go compared to the other one. And right here we have jalapeno peppers. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my favorite. I love jalapeno peppers. Oh, here's one on the ground. That was just for you. Oh, just for me. <laughs> Stuffed jalapeno peppers. Mm -hmm. Peppers. Oh, yeah. So along this row, they're looking very nice. We mm -hmm. staked them up, you know, and got flowers coming on these right here. Nice little close up on this. How the flower just come on there. Looking very nice and healthy. Mm -hmm. Bugs ain't biting a hole into these pepper leaves, are, are they? Mm -mm, don't look like it. <laughs> look at that. Look at all those peppers. Man. Look at it. Look at here. Let's look get at this. a good shot of those peppers. Oh, that's nice, look ain't all it? Those peppers. Wow. It's loaded. The next one is too? Yeah, this next one is pretty nice too. Mm -hmm. These peppers looking good. We've got a whole row of peppers all the way down to the end except for a couple. Let's see where we at with these couple. A couple of different peppers. Yep, that's them. Right here. Mm -hmm. And what's the name of these right here? Thai, thai chili? Thai chilies. Oh man, look at they starting to bud up. They, they starting are. to come out. They yeah. Are. Do we see any little peppers? You see? I think I see one. You see one? Oh, no, I don't. Why? Here one right here. There's one. Two oh, of them. Oh, there's three of them. Yeah, they're the coming up on. chilies. Our daughter and son-in-law. This is their favorite pepper. And they make a lot of curry and biryani dishes. Yes, very nice. Mm-hmm. And wow, also, that's awesome. Yes. Yeah. You know. So, how do you feel about your peppers? Oh man, I feel great about the peppers. That's good. Nice that's and good. healthy and green. Mm-hmm. No insects eating them. Looking good. Looking very nice. Okay, right here we have the jambalaya okra. And man, these things are producing quick. Mm-hmm. Even when they was little, but look look at the size of this okra right here. Very nice, healthy plant. That jambalaya okra. Yeah, that jambalaya okra is a good plant to uh, get started with. It is. You know, in your backyard, if you have have a small backyard, mm -hmm. you can put this jambalaya okra in your backyard and you have a lot of okra. That's right. How many plants, babe, do you recommend for somebody with a small backyard? I mean, a real small backyard, what would you say? I would say one or two. Yeah. So you can have a, a variety of a lot of different things. Right, you right, know, right. One or two will be fine. And you right. can get a lot of okra off of one or two plants. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. So this yeah. is all jambalaya. And y'all remember seeing this okra. And it goes all the way down. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, y'all. Last but not least, we are over here in our little tomato patch and we have three rows of tomatoes out here and I think they total anywhere from 55 to 58 plants give or take a few because we did lose some so we have a lot of tomato plants out here and if Mr. H can just kind of pan around and he'll show you this is one row right here on my left and then I have a row right here on my right all the way down here and then just on the other side, there's another 50 foot row of tomatoes. Now, we have quite a few varieties <laughs> out here, and we're gonna show you all a few. Now, what I'm gonna tell you is, is Mr. Homestead Hart, his favorite tomato 
It's this black beauty. Let me show you this tomato. Now, this tomato right here, just look at this. It's so beautiful, y'all. This tomato will get as black as can be. Oh, that one don't look good. But down here, we have more of them growing all along. Just look at there. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Look right here. Just look. These are some beautiful tomatoes, you all. And the more sunlight they get, the darker they turn, right? Yes. Yeah. The, the, the more sunlight they get, the darker they turn, the more flavorful they become, right? So we have quite a few of Black Beauty tomatoes here, but we also have so many other varieties down here. Now look, we have some beefsteak tomatoes, y'all. These are still green, but we have, well actually, I, I don't think these are beefsteaks right here. I'm not really sure what this one is but look we have some down here all the way down look at this one actually we need to go ahead and harvest these off of here Tails. if i can uh oh sorry if i can get it yeah look at there y'all look isn't that beautiful now look at here i'm gonna tell y'all something wow, i'm gonna harvest like this apples. one they are huge yeah Ugh. take that one off i'm trying to twist it on off there we go let me show y'all something about tomatoes. Do y'all see these? These tomatoes are imperfect, right? And that's perfectly fine that they're not absolutely perfect tomatoes. I'm okay with our garden not being perfect. It's just kind of like a reflection of who we are as people. We're not perfect. We have imperfections, but that does not make us a bad tomato, right? just because we have imperfections. So we have several of them down here. I'm gonna harvest this one as well. Oh my goodness, just look at the size of this tomato, y'all. I actually just you need, need some help? to, I need my pruners. Here you go. I got some scissors right here. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get, get this off of this. Well, I can't because the scissors mm -hmm. here won't you cut. Go. <laughs> Thank you. Man, oh. that looks good. Yes, it does. Let's see if I can get in there and grab it. There it goes. Look at there. Beautiful, but imperfect, but absolutely gorgeous tomato. Let me pick these up and put them in my arms like the beautiful babies they are. And we're going to, now those two, I'll probably come back and get those two. But you all, now, I showed you Mr. H's tomatoes that he is absolutely in love with, but I'm going to show you, I have two or three varieties out here that I am super excited about. And one of them is this Amish paste tomato. Do you look at this plant? This plant is weighed down with these tomatoes. This tomato is a prolific producer. Okay. I love Amish paste tomatoes. Look right here. Just look. Everywhere you look, you see tomatoes. Come on down, look right here. Everywhere you look, you see tomatoes, right? And I'm going to tell you, and this one is almost ready. Look at there. That one is almost ready. This one down here is ready. Look at there. But I'm going to tell y'all something. The reason why I love the uh, paste tomato is because not only do they make a delicious tomato sauce, they make an absolutely delicious tomato paste, okay? It's a very thick tomato, doesn't have a lot of water in it. It is so good for sauces and paste, while tomatoes like these, these slicers are good for fresh eating, but they're also good for like sauces and stuff, right? I mean, so many different varieties of tomatoes gives you so many different flavors when you're making salsas, salsas, whichever one you want to choose but they give it so much flavor we have a yellow tomato out here called sunray and another one called orange icicle y'all we can't wait to get that in some mango salsa now we have some more tomatoes right here y'all i can't tell y'all what these tomatoes are i don't know but i know we got some brandy wine reds out here we got some brandy wine pinks out here but my favorite look right here look right here look right here let me show y'all this right here come on over here look at that See that? 
This is my absolute favorite. This is tomato I've been waiting on. Oh, I dropped it. I'm going to wipe it out. This, you all, is a black cherry tomato that I have been so excited about growing. Oh, my God. That tomato was so good, y'all. Black cherry. That tomato was so... Ooh, that was good. But look at these tomatoes right here. Mr. H said they look like apples. Look at these tomatoes. Aren't they gorgeous? Oops, I dropped one. Look at there. Just beautiful, healthy green tomatoes. Have y'all ever had fried green tomatoes? These tomatoes would be perfect for fried green tomatoes. And we have more of the uh, either purple Russian or black vernici something or other. See here? Look at there. Yeah. Just a beautiful tomato. Yeah. I'm going to harvest those too. You yeah, grab that one for me. I'll grab it for you. Okay. Look at there. Beautiful tomatoes, oh, y'all. man. That's nice. Can't wait to taste that. Here you go, Mr. H. Mm. Oh, okay. Now, so we have more tomatoes down here, you all. And again, man, look at these. You want a tomato too? Don't eat it all in the same place, okay? Go get it. Get it! You don't waste my tomato. You're going to eat that tomato. Look right here, you all. Look at these big old, big, big, big tomatoes right here. Wow. Aren't they beautiful? Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. <laughs> wow. All right. Look right here, you all. We're going to go down this row right here. Now, now this might be a little tight, but we're going to get in here. These right here are orange icicle tomatoes. As you can see, one is already turning. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful yellow color. Look at there. Beautiful. And they actually would be turning orange if I leave it on there. Let me see if I can squeeze through here. Ugh. Okay. And we have more beefsteak tomatoes over here as well. Just beautiful, beautiful tomatoes. So now these rows are very tight to get down because the tomato plants are so big. But these rows are very, very difficult to get down. But y'all can see what I mean when I say we have tomatoes growing everywhere. So there's, there's hardly a plant out here that doesn't have tomatoes on them y'all and they just look so good i'm just so super excited <laughs> about the tomatoes i'm loving it it's going to do it for today's garden tour as you can see we shared so much with you right from all of the gardens just the melon patch, Lufa Lane, what we have growing in some of the raised beds over here in Big Mama's garden. We have a lot growing. And just imagine we are we are watering all of that by hand. But we have our irrigation. Yes, and also, you know, it, it's, it's just a, a, a very good to know your hard work pays off. It is, yeah. Yeah, you know, the hot sun, yeah. you know. Uh, hauling uh, compost, yeah. uh, you know, and building up the soil. Yeah. Um, just hard work, period. You know, it paying off. It, yeah. It's, you know, Ooh. the fruits of our labor. <laughs> you know, and, 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 yeah. and of course, you know, our subscribers, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Subscribers helping us out and motivating right. us and, you know, the comment. That's right. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. everything that they, you know helped us out with you know we yeah. greatly appreciate it all of your donations yes all of the donations and wow thank you yeah thank you so much <laughs> yeah and, thank and you it, and it's time to get in here and and enjoy some of these good mm. tomatoes yes yes y'all we're gonna, be, <laughs> we gonna get down to it y'all we have been actually it. been out here snacking on tomatoes okay and they have been so Good. We have tried the uh, sun rays, the orange icicle. Oh, yeah. We've tried a Cherokee purple. We have so many varieties growing out here, y'all, that 
Man, we're so excited because they yeah. taste so good. Tastes Even Jax good. had his tomatoes. Yeah, he did. He did. <laughs> and he's looking at this one. Yeah, look, you can't see it, but he's down here licking his lips. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you all, that is going to do it for today's garden tour. We uh, really took a lot of pleasure in showing you this garden because of how hard we work. Yeah. And no matter how big or how small, whether it's in the ground, in raised beds, or just containers in your house, or containers on your back porch, patio, balcony, whatever. Yes. You can grow a little bit of some something if you want to do it, and you feel like you're a little afraid to do it, get past that and just put a seed in the dirt. Yeah. Okay? And, and go through the videos and, yeah. and, and you know, you know, all the videos to show you how to get started, you know, yeah. with everything. So Yeah. And know. and one of the, and I'm gonna tell y'all something. I'm gonna tell y'all something. Miss Cheryl over at Cheryl's Organic Food Forest and also the New Orleans gardener, Miss Linda, those two women, when it comes to container gardening, yes. I really feel like they can share with you so much. They're just some down home folks that you just absolutely love to watch you just love to hear them talk you yeah, know yeah. and they're teaching you something at the same time and miss cheryl talks a lot about pest control as well how she manages pests in her food forest mm -hmm. y'all we love those women okay yes, yes that's like that's ain't cheryl and ain't linda <laughs> <laughs> We love them because y'all, they provide so much information. And I've been reaching out to Miss Cheryl, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you gonna call me back, Miss Cheryl? When you gonna <laughs> call me? I've been waiting for you to call me. I know you're on vacation right now, but I'm waiting on you to call me back. Now, okay, I had to get that off my chair. But anyway, y'all, that is going to do it for today. We just had to share this with you all. Yes. We had yes, to share did. this with you all. Y'all can do it. If you want to grow something, you can do it. You can do it. Get past the fear and the trepidation. You can do it. Yes. We know you can do it. Yes, okay? we know you can do it. Yeah, we know you can do it. Yeah. So that's it, you all. Thank you so much to all of our wonderful subscribers. Thank you for watching and following our journey. Thank you all for all of the comments and the thumbs up buttons. Uh, the thumbs up that you hit. My grandson say, smash that like button. Mm -hmm. And me being so technical, I'm like, how they going to smash the like button if all they can do is press it on their phone? He's a grandma. <laughs> You just overthinking this. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, you all, thank you again so much. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we upload to our channel, you all. So that's it. Thank you all so much for watching us here at Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Yes, yes, y'all. <laughs> to each and every one of you, and we will see y'all in the next video.